Right, come on then, Billy, show everyone how to use the vacuum former. So, pull this back. What's that? Uh, the uh, heater. Heater, good lad. And then you need to pull the um, clamps. Clamps are up, these. Good, those and are called toggle clamps. Toggle clamps, and then you need to pull the clamp up, which is that. Right, then what? And then you need to put your card in. Good, put it in so that goes on the bed. And then you need to put your torch in. Good, put your, made. put your torch on your blister pack design. And then you need to get the plastic. And that is clear PVC. So you're going to get a sheet That's of clear it. PVC. You're going to put that on top of the... Uh, Right, hold on, make sure it's right up and covered over the rubber seals and that it's not getting in the way of yeah. that bit there. And then you pull the cl uh, clamp down. Yeah, put the clamp down. And then you Press it really hard down there so you can put the toggle clamps down. Top one toggle clamp. Good, you got it. There you toggle go. Toggle clamp. And Good. Then, and then you need to... Well, you need to switch it on, there's no heat switch coming out it of that. On. <laughs> and then you need to pull the... Heater back over, right? And then you need to wait two minutes. Is that how long we got? Two minutes for the timer to finish, right? It may not be hot enough because you've only just switched it on, haven't you? Yeah, we'll have a look, see how it gets on. Right, let's just check it. Yes, yep, that's yeah, a okay. bit more, a little bit more, about another 30 seconds. Yeah, I reckon. Make sure they're all on full power. They are? Are they all on full power? Yes, otherwise it will not heat quick enough. I can't see that. There there, sir. Full, 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 yeah, there we go. And then here is your vac and heater, uh, which says 7.5 and 3. Yeah. Vac is 3 and heat is 7.5. Now let's see if this is done. That looks pretty good to me. So now you're going to. And now you need to pull, pull the handle to big raise the handle. bed. To raise it really high. There you go, and, and it then, clicked it. And, and then, then you need to pull this switch, which will suck it down into what you need it. And then you need to turn it off. And then what you need to do is make sure this is all the way back. Lift the toggle clamps up. Yeah, it's a bit tight that one. <laughs> So you might have to ask Mr. Brockhouse to help you. Right, good. And then you need to take your plastic PVC. What you want to do is mark out where you're going to cut. Yeah. So that's the top. You don't. You want to cut the whole lot of that off. That's basically the outline of the the thingy. But you need to leave some room so you can heat the sides up. Right. So you need a tab. Right. About two or three centimeters Wide. on the side. One at the bottom. Or at the top. Or at the top, if you want to do it that way. So as long as you cut one side straight and then leave three tabs. Uh, so I might give you a standard knife, but maybe not. Nah, you scissors know. are better. Scissors. And then you need to... Go on then, Billington. Follow the line, which is really hard. And then keep following it. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, man. Can't you cut quicker? Let's just say... Ten years later. It's it's going well. It's going well. And now uh, this is Mr. Broadcast. This is how you should cut. Thinking he's all better than me. Yeah, you can't blame can't blame left-handers. I'm left-handed as well. Yeah, left-handers are the best. Yeah, this is true. I'll keep that bit on the red. Wipe bit. off the ink. Ink, whatever it's called you're using. Whiteboard marker. Yeah. And now what you need to do? Go on, you can do the rest. Okay. Right, now you need to bring your card, your torch, well not your torch really, but that. Yeah, bring your card, bring and your And then plastic. there's a switch at the back. Yeah, we're looking at the back of this machine, aren't we? Yeah, which is this, which you need to turn on and off. Yeah. It says mains, and then you need to push the machine back. This then is a hot wire strip heater, and this bit here is the hot wire that gets very hot so don't touch it with your fingers so line up the edge of the card and with the hot wire and leave it there for about 20 seconds do not make the plastic touch yeah. the hot wire very good what will happen it will burn it'll, burn. Burn. Yeah. it'll melt and it'll leave this horrible melted black stuff in there i think that'll do mate so fold it and then you fold it press it 
Well, once you've done the first one... Press it flat, press it flat, there you go. And once you've done the first one, just slot your card in. You, it's best to do the sides first, because then you don't get in a tangle. I think you've put it upside down, but it doesn't make any difference really, does it? No, it ain't. Uh, there you go, so now you've got that one in, now you can see what you're doing. And now you just get the side again. Right, we'll count it down and see if it's 20, 18. One. That'll do. Right, flat, 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 press it flat. There you go. Five, four, three, two, one. Don't be a div like me and burn it. Yeah. And don't be a div like you and put the Chelsea on any of your work, unless, of course, you want to fail. No, that won't fail. So is that finished then, Billy? No. Then you need to slot this out. Put your key ring back in. You're not going to put board pin on there to make the Chelsea dog stand out a bit? They can, but I'm not. Fair enough. All right, so your torch is in. Now you need to close it up. That's good. And the head of this... It didn't, wasn't for the Chelsea bit. Right. Are you done? Uh, that is how you make a torch. Woohoo! Well, cover, whatever. Yeah, one finished blister pack. Well done, Billy. You happy with that? Yeah. Good. Right.